Hello. As promised, today we will treat something that's a little bit more complicated, that will be the solution to wireless energy transfer equation. So, let's start with the circuit, that is an equivalent circuit. We are interested to find the uh, eta coefficient, that is the parameter that will give us the figure of merit of the transfer in energy between a transmitter and a receiver using the air as a media of a transmission. So the parameter eta is the efficiency, is the ratio between the power that we will have at the load, that we will call PL, on the power that the generator is able to provide at its maximum level. In the, this circuit we uh, recognize the following elements. We have the VG, that is the generator voltage, RG, that is the resistance of the generator, the source capacitance, the source inductance of the source, and the resistance of the source. All the parameters of the source will be highlighted with a uh, S index. In the other side we have the device, that is the receiver of the transfer of uh, wireless energy, that will have the LD, that is the inductance of the device, CD, that is the capacitance of the device, RD, the resistance of the device, and finally RL, that is the load, that is uh, where we would like to provide energy from the generator. In order to transfer the maximum energy, these two circuits shall be resonant at the same frequency that we will call omega. At the resonance, the capacitors and the inductance of the source will have a reactance that will eliminate these two contributes. At the same frequency of resonant, we will have CD and LD that will resonate at the same frequency and will eliminate each other. So, to understand the efficiency, we shall calculate power to load, PL, and power generator max. Let's see what will be the equation. At the first step, we will define PG, that is the power delivered by the generator, PL, that is the power received on the user RL, and E1, I1 and I2, that are the currents respectively in the first source circuit and in the device circuit. So PL, that is the power of the user, is defined as RL square times I2. This is the formula for the power at this user. That is the resistance times the square of the current. PG, that is the power delivered by the generator, is the square of its voltage divided by its series resistor RG. We can calculate E2. E2 is the current that flows in that device circuit. In that device circuit, the voltage is generated by mutual in the coupling between the first circuit and the second circuit. So E2 will be the voltage coupled N omega E1, that is the voltage that is produced by the transmitter, divided by the series resistance that we have in that circuit, that is the sum of RL and RD. The contributes of LD and CD will be eliminated because we are working at resonance. So E2 contains E1. E1 
that is the current that flows at the first circuit, is defined by this equation, that is, the difference of voltages between Vg and the voltage produced by inductance, mutual inductance at that winding, that is m omega e2, because we have a mutual coupling, divided by the resistance on that circuit. So we can manipulate this equation by substituting e2 into e2, and i1 will be like this expression in which we recognize i1. So in this equation we have e1 and e1, we can collect e1 and that side and calculate i1. So we, we can obtain i1 by substitution and i1 will be expressed by this equation. We see that i1 is proportional to the voltage of the generator, of course, and the sum of resistance of the load and resistance of the divide, divided by this factor. By substituting i1 into the formula to i2, we will obtain i2 that is proportional to the mutual inductance the frequency omega and the amplitude of the voltage of the generation and this divided by the same factor as e2 is e1 okay next step then we will express e2 in a more convenient way so we will divide e2 by the same quantity that is rs rd so i2 will be expressed like this and we will recognize this ratio RGRS and the other ratio LLRD. Now we can express PL that is the power by consumed by the user with this expression because uh, as you remember PL is given by the square of E2 multiplied by RL. So PL is proportional to this quantity. Ok, the next step. We can define a figure of merit called U that is a factor represented by the ratio between the frequency omega times the coupling factor M divided by the square of the product rs by rd so u is a parameter that we can choose in order to design our coupler and is proportional to the frequency and the mutual coupling and is inversional proportional to the losses that are represented by the resistance rs and rd so now we can write the efficiency eta has a ratio by PL to PG max. If we use the factor U in the substitution of the, in the other equation, we will come at this expression of eta. Remember that eta is the ratio between PL and PG max that we already have calculated. So, and uh, this is the interesting result. The efficiency in wireless transfer energy is dependent by the square of the U, that is that parameter of, of design, and then the, these two ratio, Rg to Rs and Rl to Rd. So we see that uh, we have something relevant. The ratio between the resistance at the primary circuit and the ratio of the resistance at the secondary circuit. So, if we obtain as a design to have the ratio between Rg and S equal to the ratio between Rl and Rd, to this value, if we can choose the resistor in order to have exactly this value, 
we can write again it with dependency to u with this equation. So, eta will depend on the square of u divided by this quantity. This equation, we can represent it in a simplified way, we can see that eta will be proportional to u with this shape. And in theory, we can reach the value of efficiency to energy transfer near to 1 if we have a value of u that are about 100. So, if our factor u that is given by the omega m divided by the, the square root of our SRD near to 100, in theory we can reach efficiency near to 1. Coming back to the circuit, it's like to say that in order to achieve efficiency near to 1, we can choose a very high frequency of transfer in the order of the megahertz. Then we can have a very high coupling, so M shall be the highest as possible, and the uh, losses in terms of resistance value shall be minimized. In practice, we can say that we have two, two coils that shall be very close coupled together with very low losses. And if we achieve that, we will have something that efficiency near to one. So energy transfer is something that is a real application now. You can find a different company that have a business for this. For example, Witricity, that is a, a US company that uh, developed couplers in order to transfer power wireless. So, I hope that uh, you enjoy this video and is useful for you. And if you are interested in the detailed calculation between the, the steps we have seen, you can refer to that video that is in my Italian channel that will calculate all these equations step by step. So, we are at the end of this video. If you like this, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. So, see you next time!